Hey everybody, welcome to Pop Culture Philosophers. It's time for a movie review. Today we're talking about Shazam! That's right, thanks for checking us out here at Pop Culture Philosophers. We're going to be reviewing Shazam. I am Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is... Jelani Bullard. This is... Brooks. Brooks the Magnificent. Thank you again for checking out the video. We're going to be talking about Shazam. Overall, I enjoyed the film. I thought it was really refreshing. Very funny. Um, it kind of presents itself as a family film, but it does have some, some language in it that some people may, you know, just, you know, look it up yourself, I guess, and make that judgment call. But I think it's a good movie for, for like, a family. You know, for, for younger kids, it seems like something that I would absolutely adore if it came out in the 90s. In fact, it feels to me yeah. a little bit like a 90s comic book movie in the best ways possible. Absolutely. I love Zachary Levi as Shazam. Mark Strong as um, Silvana is a little just kind of cutting cookie cutter comic book movie villain for me. But overall, I think it's very, very enjoyable and definitely worth a watch, especially if you're a comic book fan. And it takes... A whole lot of inspiration from the Jeff Johns, Gary Frank Shazam from the New 52 that was those in those Justice League comics. Overall, I really liked it. Thought it was a very strong movie. Highly recommend it. What about you, Jelani? What would you think overall? I agree, man. Um, Captain Marvel. Uh, I'm sorry. Shazam. Because, I mean, well, it is Captain Marvel. But yeah, you can't character, say that. Character originally by Fawcett um, Publications, mm -hmm. Fawcett Comics. Got purchased by DC at that time. Buried. The Captain Marvel name trademark had lapsed. Marvel, being Marvel, kind of snatched it up, created their own Captain Marvel. Obviously, that's led to the current Captain Marvel movie that we have right now, and now Shazam. And so they can't call Cap Shazam Captain Marvel, even though in the comic books they always could call them that. They just couldn't have a book called that, right? Right. But recently they said, let's not confuse the brand. Let's just brand it Shazam. Which they've always branded it yeah. anyway. Well, just think about smart. it, like, what, why is he a captain anyway? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, right. Exactly. Military, captain of what? There's a military aspect. Exactly. Of yeah, so. it's kind of like... It's just a shame he can't ever say his name. It's like somebody just came up with, like, a generic <laughs> couple of words for a superhero, and I'm like, uh, Captain Marvel. Yeah, that's exactly right. what it was. And we were Captain talking Marvel. about, like, back in the day, you know? So, right. Yeah, overall, though, what did you think about the film? I loved it, man. It, it's, it, it has a Goonies feel to it. Um, it, it feels, you know, like kids yeah. in danger... Over something very supernatural that's trying to get them, you know, or just pirates, and <laughs> it is. It, it's a fun film because it's it's this kid gets something actually he doesn't really want. He doesn't really want these powers. He doesn't want. He just all of a sudden he meets this wizard. This wizard gives him powers, and you're a 15, 14 year old kid with superpowers just yeah. overnight, and. Uh, to that feeling, I think Zachary Levi like portrayed that really well. He was a good kid, you know, at his age, and he he's a superhero, and he he he's got the the build for it. I, I know that it had to have been like prosthetics. There was he he, he got in shape, but they also padded yeah, they the probably suit. padded it pretty well. But he he has the look of Captain uh, Captain Marvel. If you look at the old comic books. Um, that face he has, that scrunched up face, he does that often. Um, I like the special effects and parts for this film. It mm -hmm. has its moments where it is very wonky. Um, that final battle, or whatever that is, uh, it's okay. It's a good fight. It's just very messy in mm -hmm. the CG. But, I mean, overall, it's a great film. It may be one of the best DC films that's come out in this new wave. And, uh, you know, yeah, absolutely. I ag agree to watch it. You should watch it. You should bring <laughs> your kids to go see it. It's it's good. Brooks, what do you think about Shazam overall? Uh, I thought it was really fun. I liked it a lot. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite uh, DC movies they've made so far. Um, and, you know, I think that's the most important thing with a superhero movie is it's got to be fun, you know? Yeah. you got to gotta be enjoying it. Like, you know... Uh, Infinity War was kind of grim, but it was still fun, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this, but this movie, it doesn't have you know that kind of you know the heaviness that uh, that movie did. So it's a whole lot lighter. I yeah. Guess. Yeah. So overall, we we all enjoyed it. Brooks said it's probably one of his favorite DC films. Jelani said it's probably his favorite of the new wave. I think it's very respectful. I think it's another step in the right direction for DC for sure. I think this is going to be a crowd pleaser. I think a lot of people are going to like it. From this point forward, we're going to delve into spoiler territory. So if you haven't seen the movie, don't want anything spoiled. 
might want to back out at this point, come back after you've seen the film, which we do recommend. Um, so, Zachary Levi, pretty cool as Shazam. I really like it. Yeah. The Really fun when he's learning his powers on that scene. And yeah. also, the kid that plays Freddy... He's, he was an it. Is, yes, yeah. yes. He is absolutely one of my favorite kid actors of the of recent memory. Like, yeah. he was endearing, he was charming. The kid that plays Billy, Billy Batson. B he's um, awesome. Really nice. I really like the kids. I like the friendship that they have. I like that, that Billy's not really necessarily a good kid. It takes a lot from that Jeff Johns and Gary yeah. Frank run. It's almost it verbatim, take out the Black Adam. I think that's one of my problems is that Savannah, Silvana just didn't seem like he was enough of a threat. And I don't yeah, really but then again, like he's the, he's got to be his first villain too. You don't want him to like have right. Like, yeah, because like, overpowered the Black, awkward, Black Adam on his first yeah. mission. Yeah, man. well, because also Billy doesn't know anything, and this is a Billy that still I think learns a lesson, and I think the lesson that's learned and how that arc is approached with all the family stuff and him trying to hunt down his mom. I think at times it gets a little bit Hallmark Channel, mm -hmm. yeah. just a little bit, just a little it's, bit. It's it not does. quite. It's not it, quite, you know. Yeah. It gives it's the, like the heart, I like the family, yeah. like the parents. The, the parents are yeah, great. The, parents. the casting is great. The kids, Gosh. all the kids are great. The little girl. Yeah, oh, I love she's her. She steals the show. Like, has like face stuff to a screen, playing yeah. video games all the time. There, it really was very representative of a lot of different types of people, and I just mean that also by it's like, a foster family. Yeah, and I mean that also just like like different like. You know, types of people like the 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 nerd that's always playing the game, yeah. the guy that can't that's kind of shy but does the overachieving. Good things. Yeah, the overachiever and like the the one that just wants to be there and try so hard. She just yeah. wants to belong. Right. She's oh man, and like the worst part of this film because Billy and slash Shazam slash Captain Sparkle Fingers does a lot of shady, crappy things in the film. Yeah, you know because he's kind of doing this like Peter Parker Spider Man arc, you know, where he like gets his powers and he tries to make money off of it. But he comes across way more douchey, right? He even yeah. causes that buck. That he bus causes accident. the bus accident. Yeah, and he's all pumped that he got it. But overall, it's still very fun with him discovering his powers. Yeah. And with the addition of Freddy and Billy, it works so well. And he also works so well with Zachary Levi. Yeah. I think Zachary doesn't quite capture the 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 way the kid would have been grown up. Man, yeah. he, he seems almost like. But maybe this is because he gets so excited, and yeah. like he really is able that to come out of the show. Has a, has a kind of. Adult doofiness. Yes. Yeah, unbelievable. That's what it is. Yeah. He was in Chuck, yeah. so yeah, he acted yeah. pretty much the same way. So, what do you think about Zachary Levi and the kids and their and yeah. the whole thing about the that? entire interaction with that family? I mean, that's that, it's the heart of the film. Yeah, you need an emotional connection to feel Billy's pain of how he wants to only be alone. He yeah. only thinks of himself, and he saves Mary. And he tells her that speech of uh, "You only look for number one. You yeah. only take care of yourself." And he finds out over time. It's an actual arc. He arcs, you yeah. know, and it, it's really pretty decent. He's trying to find his mother and do all these things. And he, he gets these powers and he doesn't, he wants to look for, out for number one. So that's why he's so skeevy. Yeah. And he finds out that his mom's still around. And he actually go, goes and finds her. Mm -hmm. And she's... Wow, she was freaking horrible. Yeah, she I mean, absolutely. I, so and you, you knew see that it was the coming. Family, you, you do see it coming. Yeah. It, it's it's a while coming because I'm like, she didn't look for him. Like that's that's what was making that me was mad a little. Minute. I was like, why wouldn't she look for him? She's like the same name as him. You know, somebody yeah. would be like, hey, your kid's gone. Well, she changed her last kid? name. Remember, she reverted back. Yeah. But yeah, it's still a little. It was just yeah okay. The mom was just there. I'm like, surely they would know that they were if they live in this yeah, town. Like, they would be able. They're like, like hey, that that's Billy Batson. His mother is if she runs away, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what happened. But just all but of I a mean, sudden, like, she, she did like really it? young, like in that flashback. Too. Yeah, like, and she said that she was like, old. is that like his older sister or is but it's his mother? He says she was like 17 or something. So what do you think about the whole arc of Shazam, Billy, the interaction with Freddie and the kids, and all that kind of family vibe? What do you think about that? Well, it was, uh, I think they did it really well. And it, made, it wasn't too sappy, you know. Mm -hmm. it, you know, it had heart. Like, you know, everybody was likable, you know. Yeah. Everybody had their own deal. Like, you know, there's the quiet kid. Who just yeah. Never, but he ends up, like, you know, being the one who helps him find the... Uh, His mother. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... And he's the strong one at the yeah, end. Yeah. Because yeah. just like the Jeff Johns run at the end... Like we've already said, spoilers. We've been it's talking about spoilers. All the kids get the powers as well. He shares the powers with them, um, and so of course that was going to happen. That was fun. I was surprised yeah. they didn't put uh, Mary Marvel in white though. 
Well, the, she's typically she's in, in red. red. She's typically she in red. red. She's typically yeah, in she's red. red. They changed it to white there for a little bit, but it's usually yeah, she's red. white. She's red. And Freddie was blue. Yeah. And then the other ones are a new addition since the new Fifty Two. Oh. But I think the whole idea of him sharing it and and the way it ties into him accepting that he does have a family because mm -hmm. these are good people and you know and the parents and the little bits they were in they they just really came across as very warm mm -hmm. and like very 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 deliberate in their intention and passion to help these kids. Um, so, let's talk about Mark Strong as the villain. Okay. I think that the villain is a little too just cliche. There's no difference between this character and Yellow Jacket from Ant-Man. Oh, wow. Norman Osborn from the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movie. That's low. There's so, but there's so many. Like, even Obadiah yeah. Stane, like, it's all the same. But I even like Obadiah. I know. You can have charisma. You can still be good. Mark Strong, though, just, he had a hammy role, but he didn't ham it up. He should have. And maybe he should have, but I think I want my Sylvana to be very threatening. And at the start, when they show him as a kid get rejected by the wizard, played by... Uh, John Thomas Hudson. Hudson. Yeah, John and Hudson. Um, fantastic stuff, right? I love that dude. I liked him in the role. I thought it was really cool. I liked him. He was, was like... Okay. I love the, the humorous bit when he's like, what's the name? And he goes, Shazam. And it's like, yeah. you gotta laugh at that if someone actually like, tells you that for the name. first time in real life. Um, but I just feel like... Ultimately, the whole, like, he's mad at his dad, and then the car accident, and then he's a, he's an adult, and all of a sudden everything happens. He gets the powers, he goes in the boardroom, he kills everybody, and he unleashes the demons, and, and the demons were kind of cool. They kind of look like video game demons yeah. or something, but they looked all right. I liked the Seven Sins and all that stuff, and I liked that they used all that. Um, but I just feel like he, his, his, his role, not necessarily his performance, his performance was good for what he had, but I feel like in the script, maybe, like, just the this role that is... was given to him was so anemic that there yeah. wasn't much there for me but i'm really hoping they flesh it out in the sequel what do you think I, Brooks? i thought i thought he was pretty good i mean they gave him a clear motivation he wasn't you know but was know, it was, too simple was very, yeah it was very typical you know yeah but i mean what can you expect really from like this i expect kind of story? better like, than they need like you know a villain that can you know kind of you can kind of get a laugh out of too, you know. Yeah, like right. he's so uptight, like up against this, you know. Well, playing up against Shazam for laughs, that's fun. Like I love the bit when he's doing his monologue. Yeah, and he's so like, far I can't away. hear you. <laughs> like you're a mile away. Which proves he that Shazam does so not hard. have super hearing. No. So anyway, speaking of super hearing, Jelani's got super hearing. Yeah. What do you think about Mark Strong in this movie uh, as Silvana? He's 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 a villain. He's there. Uh, he seems serviceable in the in the role, but Mark Strong has been screwed over for so long. Like he has the potential to be this villain. Like he worked out as Sinestro very well. Let's just reuse him and as so, Sinestro. Just make him Sinestro. But just oh gosh, just he's, reuse he's okay. him as Sinestro. But they're not. He's not. He's just. He comes off as flat, but he's he's okay. I mean, his performances, I think, good I mean, for what, he, what he has. I, I like the fact that they 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 human they try to humanize him as a kid, but yeah, it, there he does turn into that's like where a it beat, ends. A that's beat, where it ends. Cliche, just I, okay, wearing his sunglasses at night. Mark kind Strong of Strong has so much potential well, he's got to, hide to be his like guy. the yeah, bad guy, something. and he he's okay. He's okay. You know, to be honest with ourselves though, Silvana in the comics has never quite been that standout no. villain amongst the rest. But he needs to be sniveling. If you're gonna make Dr. Savannah the way he is in the comic, make him shorter, make him make him that imposing dude. Make him Danny DeVito. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well that would be a whole different movie. Like, and be like just something different. I, like, I, but I think Mark Strong could have done a better role. Done, like yeah. they could have just I don't know, they could have made the the connection, the 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 the, the threat feel more it didn't I feel know, like it urgent it didn't have the urgency okay. or he didn't make himself feel the urgency um i think the ending fight scene has a little bit of weird choreography and maybe it just wasn't planned out very well and maybe it seemed rushed or something to me like the last fight just didn't fulfill like with him and Silvana in the skies moving around i just didn't yeah. think it looked that strong what do you think about that Jeff? i didn't think it did well but i like their fight See, their fight wasn't so t titanic that, like, cities fell to the ground. Yeah. And they knocked down buildings and stuff like that. I, I think that, you know, it, 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 he flew through windows. They knocked him over on the side. And it, they fought and destroyed the statue in uh, Philadelphia. What is that statue? We, I gotta look it's up one of the founding fathers. But, yeah. Is it Franklin? I can't remember. It's not Franklin, is it? 
No. He didn't look rotund enough to be Franklin. Yeah. People, I don't know. people in Philly, oh, I apologize. Yeah. I don't know your... Philly fans. Yeah. Yeah. What's that statue? Yeah, please it? tell us that statue. They beheaded it. That's terrible. But, um, yeah. It, City it of brotherly like, love. like a Custer, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they have a Custer statue in Philly. I don't think they would. That wouldn't make much sense yeah. to me. Yeah. I don't either. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never but, know. I mean, the fight was too dark. We, we, just, lost, was too we just lost, dark. like, ten subscribers. Yeah, yeah. just did. Sorry, guys. He's fucking... We like cream cheese. Yeah, it's delicious. And uh, the 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 steaks, the yeah. steak the yeah. steak sandwiches. Yeah, those are I like y'all the baseball team there. Yeah, that's your favorite yeah. baseball team, the Phillies. The Phillies. Why can we have a nice shout out to the Phillies there? Did you see the stadium? I didn't even notice. I should have paid attention more. Yeah. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, I've never been to Philly. Me either. Yeah. That's where Will Smith's from. Yeah, born and raised. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> We're way off now, so. Um, <laughs> Brooks, did you like that last scene, the the climax of the film? I thought it was pretty good, yeah. Yeah. You know, it was, it was, like, I've seen it so many times, you know, it's kind of like, you know, yeah, it, it's, yeah, it's the climax. Yeah. yeah. I think it's got a good, strong message about it, family, about, it's kind of got an anti-bullying message yeah. in there a little bit. Um, the, the, the wedgie at the end joke that Freddie gave the, the, the kids when he lifted them and saved them from the Ferris wheel, it just, they could have paid that off a little bit A little better. bit better. And well, it's it's kind of to see these asshole bullies suffer. <laughs> yeah. Bit, just, yeah. Right? So I think it's a good, fun film. I think it, it's got some valuable lessons. I think it's got some some deep, cool ideas. And uh, I'm really pumped for the sequel because in the post credit scene, um, yeah. the first one, that was Mr. Mind, which is a, a worm from Venus. Remember, yep. right? Venus, like telepath. He's got the stuff. He's like, so he is the yeah. absolute, he's super, super cheesy. Yeah. But he is actually, in fact, one of the most the diabolic, yeah. diabolical villains out there. And so I'm really excited. Usually in the comics, he teams up with Sylvana. Sometimes he even, like, but takes them over and they kind of merge together. So I'm really pumped for that in the sequel. I like the mention of Black Adam in the beginning when they said, I've chosen a warrior before, but this happened. Which leads me to, to think that the Rock Black Adam movie might be set in the ancient times. Mm -hmm. so we kind of got a Scorpion King type oh, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then maybe, like, we see him in the future, something like that. That'd be um, nice. That'd be cool. Yeah, because it humanizes Black Adam to the point where you know why he's evil. Yeah, and this movie, of course, is also yeah. a giant billboard for other DC movies and properties. Mm -hmm. So it references Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and such all throughout the film. And I love the bit at the very, very end, the very last post credit scene, which is... Just a funny little bit, but kind of a dig on Aquaman. It's kind yeah. of fun. He's trying to communicate with the fish. goldfish. <laughs> a little fun scene. I like that one, too. Um, but overall, we really do like this film. We think it's pretty strong. Um, you'd recommend it. Yeah. Recommend you'd recommend it. it. Yeah. Let's get into the ratings. We rate movies here by your digs, five being the possible best. So out of five possible your digs, Jelani, what do you rate Shazam? This may be like... Yeah, I'm going to say it again. This, this may be my favorite DC film out of the group. It's it's fun. It's engaging. It makes me want to watch it. And I'll watch it again. And then as I rate, I rate by my, my watchability. And I'm going to go with Four You Digs. Four You Digs. Four You digs. digs. Very high score. Very yeah, high score. I was going to do 3.5, but that kid, that little girl, she's great. She, she like crushed it. And then like when she grows up, oh my gosh, it's the same kid. And you can tell that they yeah that they, they really, picked, portrayed, yeah, it really well. portrayed it really well. So yeah, that puts it over the top. So it's it's four. I it's was like thinking when they're making, I was like, so Mar Mary, right? If they Mary make if they make like three of these films, by the time they make the third one, we're like maybe six years ahead. She should look like like her yeah. adult self, right? By that point, right? Yeah. Isn't that interesting? These kids are gonna start growing up, and it's gonna be like, well, that kid didn't look like Zachary Levi. Right, Levi. not Levi. at all. all right. So four you digs. Out of five possible you digs, what do you give Shazam, Brooks? I give four. Four. Four you digs. A very strong, solid, good move. Yeah. Like, good score. Yeah. Out of five. Good, really fun. Really fun? That's, yeah. yeah. Real fun. So fun, four. Four fun. Yeah. Four for five. FF. <laughs> I'm going to give... Future Foundations. <laughs> Whoa! We're going to go here in the, the Robbie world. <laughs> um, I'm going to go three and a half. Because I, I do love I do like it. I think it's strong. I think it's fun. I think it's decent. Um, I think the villain is very, very weak. And it kind of... There's some... The movie would get really fun and bright and fast-paced. And then it would slow it down. And it yeah. would become kind of like a, a family channel movie. It does. And it, um, it, it, it does that a lot. But only for like maybe seven yeah. to eight minutes. But anyway, um, I did like it. Maybe a couple pacing issues here and there, but... Uh, and just a weak villain, but overall, I mean, the performances by the kids, by Levi, um, by the parents, 
Um, I really did like it. I thought it was good. So three and a half, which is a, to me a good score. It's over a half. Yeah, three and a half. So three and a half for four for an average of three point nine three 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 four eight zero oh, seven. We don't do math. Here. Bam. Anyway, wow. Well, how many you digs do you give Shazam? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, please do check out our other movie reviews and more here on the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing, of course. And check us out at popculturephilosophers.com for podcasts and a whole lot more. I've been Rockin' Robbie Billups. This is... Chelani Buller. This is... Oops. And we are Pop Culture Philosophers. Please do join the PCP Army, our official Facebook Pop Culture Philosophers group. You can find it over on Facebook. That was a lot of peace. It's kind of like... It's kind of like in the Spider-Man trailer where he's like... Here to pick up a passport for Peter Parker, please. <laughs> anyway, we are the Pop Culture Philosophers. Thanks for joining the Army. Umbrellas. <laughs>